Allah Azza wa Jal warned against abandoning the prayer, the mandatory salah. Delaying it and praying it after the time has passed without any given excuse, without a reason. It becomes someone's routine and daily act to pray Fajr after the sun rises. To pray Dhuh when Asr time enters. Or to pray him all at the time of Isha. Or whenever he remembers. That becomes his reaction toward the matter of the Salah. But then when he makes an appointment with someone and that person shows up late. He starts talking about professionalism. And now you got to respect time. And now we got to start forgetting that time needs to be set exactly and we'll follow it. But when it comes to the rights of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they are neglected or abandoned. Or forgotten about completely. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Woe to those who pray, who are heedless when it comes to the matter of salah. The companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam interpret the ayat that it is those who delay the salah without an excuse till its time has passed. It has been narrated by Mus'ab ibn Sa'd ibn Abi Waqqas. May Allah be pleased with him. Who asked his father, Sa'd ibn Abi Waqqas, may Allah be pleased with him. He said, Oh Father, the statement of Allah, those indeed who are heedless from their prayer. He said, which one, of, which one of us does not sometimes become heedless in the salah? He said, it's not that. It is those who delay their prayer till its time has passed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warns them. Imagine then the ones who do not pray. Allah also warns saying, and there followed them successors. One heard it, the scriptures while taking the commodities of this dunya and saying it will be forgiven for us. But they have indeed neglected the prayers. And they have followed desires. Successors came after them. Their offspring, generation after generation, abandoned the salah and following desires. They will indeed meet Ghayy. And Ghayy, some of the scars of tafsir said, a valley in the hellfire. Wal'iyadhu billah, far off, meaning far deep. That is indeed the residence. As some of the scars of tafsir says is one of the names of the fire. Either or, that is the residence. Wal'iyadhu billah. 